Okay, good morning everyone. Um, welcome back to episode 2 of our Crash 4 playthrough. Uh, hopefully you remember what happened last episode. So we managed to get three levels done. Died a bunch of times in one of the first little bonus levels. Um, blast fine, part of the warm-up. Um, we did manage to get one perfect relic already, so that's a decent little start. And um, let's just crack back on with it. We've got a few more levels by looks of it before a boss. Uh, I think that's engine. Um, so let's see if we can maybe get there in this video. Let's go. So I hope everyone enjoyed the first part. Um, I certainly enjoyed it. Really, I'm enjoying this game and I'm looking forward to playing through the whole thing. I'm not sure I'm looking forward to the full completion as much, if I manage it. But we'll see how we get on. I didn't actually want to be Coco. I wanted to be Crash. I also don't know what that is. Flashback tape. No idea. Okay, good start, good start. Had no idea, didn't see it. That is one of my deaths already down, so that's not an ideal start, I'll be completely honest. I think the thing I'm forgetting, and I need to get back used to again, is just assume everything's there to kill you, and take your time sometimes. Yeah, I'm half tempted to restart the level, but I won't do it, won't do it for you guys. You'd, uh, you'd never see the game be completed if I did that, because I die in non stop. I don't want to say I'm a reckless gamer, but I'm a bit of a reckless gamer. What if I don't quite know the best way to kill these guys? Now, I think. Can I destroy it? I'll assume I destroyed it. I do like kind of hanging around to make sure stuff does actually destroy. So, one thing I have heard about this game is the levels are generally a lot longer. Um, so when you pair that up with the perfect relics, which obviously weren't in the old games, that does make it slightly daunting. Um, so I may have some really majorly awful levels. I'm gonna get used to this little circle as well. There was something there that I think I might be able to jump on, to be honest. We're getting the buns as well. Okay. My mind can't move quick enough for these crates. Don't think that's gonna hit me from there, I'll be honest. They're not having a great start, I'll be completely honest, sir. I think the zip lines are going to absolutely be my downfall for this whole game. God, it scares me. I can't. It seems really quick. I couldn't tell, like, I don't know if it's depth perception or me being stupid, but I thought I was out of his range and he absolutely slaps me up. I will say now I absolutely dislike these guys. I'll be honest, it's all a little bit ropey so far. I think one of the worst things in the old games was these crates here, where you hit them five times. Uh, some of them on the bonus levels especially were just an absolute nightmare for me. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I didn't realise it was a bouncing box. Okay, these bonus levels are just awful. Or, we'll correct it to I'm awful. I don't know if that means in the kind of perfect runs, I'm going to have to be speedrunning it and doing these at the same time. No, presumably the crates and the time trials are different, aren't they? So I should be safe. I like I'm planning that far ahead when I can better complete the level anyway. I'm trying to jump on top of it, and I'm just timing it wrong. I think anyone watching now is probably doubting I'll even um, just complete my normal playthrough, let alone anything else. One thing you will come to learn is I spend about 70% of my time in bonus levels. I also didn't really consider that at the time. I forgot I was going to have to come all the way back. Okay. It's fine. This time. Really not using my Swede for this. Apologies for silence, I need to um, exercise a little brain power I have to hopefully get this. See, I kept trying to jump over it, I don't know why I didn't just jump under it. I don't know if it was going to like push me down and squash me, so I kind of panicked. Okay, we're good. We're on 71 crates. We've missed a few, so we're we'll pro probably over halfway through the level. Well, everything's just been a panic attack to it. I do need to get used to the buttons a bit. I'm still kind of forgetting what some of the buttons are. Oh, okay. That's nasty. There's a fire at the bottom there as well when you miss it like I did. See, I know I've missed some of the crates, but I'm still trying to... Well, my thinking is that I'll still get the fruits, as I'm not quite late. Oh. I mean, I've been up for a long time, but it is technically early still, so... That is the excuse. There's also that up there, but I don't think. My assumption is that 
I'm gonna get something to make me jump high later on. So if you remember on that um, level a bit earlier in the last video, we had um, what was it? It was a gem, wasn't it? Or you do something like that. Okay, that's not so cool, I'll be honest. Got a bloody... Let's get that other one again, though. And I'm over three deaths. So that really didn't go very well. Very unfortunate. Did really well in the first run. And then, um... Yeah, that happened. It's quite tough. These jumps seem, like, really close. Okay, I'm just going to keep murdering myself now. I was trying to jump down to not fail the same jumps before, and I couldn't remember where the boxes were. I'll get there. Bear with me for a minute or five. Honestly, really unlucky as I got all the way to the end and then got my deaths in. Like, if I hadn't messed up on that bit, I would have got my three or less. So, bit of a shame. I'm struggling with the warping quite a lot, I'll be honest. So, I missed a hidden gem. I didn't even see it. Got over three deaths that time. It's all good. I wouldn't want to have a blinder and actually look good at the game because that would um, trick you all. Okay, so we've got a flashback tape. Oh wow, so there's quite a lot of them. So three, I don't know what these unlocks are. I don't know what the, that shape is supposed to be. So you've got to finish it and then get all the boxes to get all three of them. So we'll give it a bash. Okay. Not sure exactly if this is like an old level from an old game because it's had about flashback or... Oh wow, this is odd. Yes! The crates are meant to be broken! They weren't placed in an impenetrable barrier! I'll redesign the other tests. I've also just seen just how many crates there are on this level. Hundred and eighteen, which is quite a lot. I mean, it doesn't seem too bad so far, but if this is the first level... Okay. Talking just isn't for me, apparently. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, I hope the death doesn't affect anything, but what I was gonna say is, as this is the first level and you saw how many tapes there were, I think this is gonna ramp up quite a bit, because, um, 118 crates. Delicate jumping. Fish. Always trying to make sure I'm taking these higher paths first. Okay. The problem with these is one mess up, they are quite long levels. I mean, I, I, what I am impressed with, it's still obviously the first part of the story and there's a, quite a lot of changes already, a lot of new things that weren't in the old ones, so it seems they have really put the effort in with this game. I thought I was going to miss a fruit then as well. There we go, first test complete. So I've got all the crates. I'm assuming that means I've got all three. It only showed one thing pop up. Yep, so nothing to do with deaths on that, which is lucky because um, I find it basically impossible to complete a level without dying stupidly at least three times. I keep meaning to switch. No offense to Coco, but Crash is just the one, isn't he, really, on this game? Electricity is also something I really hate on these games. I don't know what any of these guys do. Just gonna leave them. <laughs> I'm terrified of this electricity. I'm still wondering that last level where that gem was I didn't get, to be honest. It's a bit of a interesting one, because I just have, didn't see it at all. I don't, I don't think I missed any kind of path really either. Okay, I was about to body slam in, so I wonder what this box is. So the problem with the start of a new game is you get caught out by everything. You don't know what everything is. Okay, so note to self. Maybe if I see some new stands near us and have a look for a minute, rather than just trying to take out straight away. And I'll try to slide him and kill him. That was unfair, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm on two deaths and I've got a tenth of the boxes. So this is not loading well. Okay, that's a nasty type of box and I don't like it at all. I will say it now. Have a flashback? Oh, I don't know if maybe in the old game there was like death paths and stuff like that where you had to not die up to that point to get it. So I might have messed up because of that. I'm not sure. These are all things that will be answered in time, I'm certain. Okay. We'll accept defeat early there. They absolutely stitched me up. It's 
So, as I did warn you, bonus levels. Warned everyone early, can't complain about it. shockingly well. I'm guessing most people died to that first time round. I mean, who thinks? Well, actually, I think everyone that's played Crash probably thinks that Nitros are going to fill in those gaps, but I'm naive. Really bad for those guys. See, I was about to say, it's perfect, so I've got a mask now, so I should be fine for a while, but classic Alex behaviour. One thing you will see very quickly is I misjudge every jump in existence normally. Keep forgetting about the circles on the floor, to be honest. They're there for a reason, and I still don't use them. Oh. After that other level, I'm just going to break them every time. Never know. Okay, and that's my three deaths over. What I'm realising is my completion percent on this first playthrough is going to be far lower. Ah, oh, see, I, I thought... Okay. I was trying to get there thinking we were carrying on this direction. I didn't notice that actually this just went up. So that is probably about as needless a death as you can possibly get. That's a bit of a shame. Part of the learning process, all good. One thing I'm really guilty at is I'm not good at looking ahead. I basically just run into stuff and almost die. Oh, and now we've got this guy as well, which is even worse. And I missed my jump even worse. <laughs> oh no. I'm really not painting a good picture of myself here. I promise I did complete the old crash, and I was okay at it. Why do I want that box? Or is it just trying to catch me out? <clears throat> Don't know if I can jump that or if I just wait. I do see that over there. I don't know if, yeah, it's a blue one, wait a sec. I think I know the, uh, the strategies. I just don't know if I can jump up there. Can I jump up there or do I get there later? So there's that. I see this. I don't know if I can... I can't jump from there to it. I'm not sure I can make that. So I'm gonna... Oh. I've just realised. Tell you what, as I'm over three deaths, I'm gonna attempt to do this, because I think... Oh, I've already got past it.
So where was that bouncy box? No, yeah, so the bouncy box is already gone. So what I had to do, bounce in the box there, then up on that top left, jump up to there. Um, and I just really didn't speak to what I was supposed to do. So I just threw away a death there. I think I might have even had a mask as well. Really stupid. I'm also sure I had a platform, didn't I? Sorry, I was just stood there waiting. Okay, so mess that one up as well. All good. Didn't jump high enough, all good. I do not... Oh, I could have made it disappear. I was like, that's really tricky to dodge it. I'll tell you why. It is... You can see it's a lot more unforgiving than the last games, which is mad to say, because the old games weren't forgiving. I don't know. On the old game, you can destroy him from anywhere for body slam, so I don't know if I messed up or if they can't be destroyed. Hey, what are you scared of me? I'm absolutely terrified of him too. And I missed my box. I'm having a few really bad moments here. The untrained eye would think I'm doing it on purpose. People that know me would realise I am just that bad. As I said. What I will say is I hope that you guys enjoyed some of the deathless bits in the first chapter. The first playthrough. Because I don't think I'm getting any more deathless. Okay, I'm losing it. The problem with Crash, it's notorious for it, is you start failing, so then you get annoyed, so you're like, I'm going to rush it, and I'm just going to get it this time. And then you just fail even worse, you forget everything that was on the level. So I need to try and take my time a bit. I'm well aware, I'm probably halfway through this level and I've taken forever though. I'll be honest, if I wasn't waiting for those apples, I would have just done the exact same thing again there. Okay, this is something new. I don't think I can attack it or anything. I think I can just roll. See, what I love is very early on they do throw in a lot of new things. Um, with like the old crashes, obviously they are much older games anyway. But you kind of you got a new thing every so often. But for quite a long time, you can get anything new pop up. So I'm jumping a lot. I don't know why I fall out and down a hole. I think I'm hitting all this water in it, slowing me down, and I'm just not even noticing it. <laughs> Mr. Box again. I tell you what, some of these levels, imagine getting all the way to here, no death, just to miss something like that. I can tell this is going to be a really tough game, and it is going to take a long time. 
It's another four. These seem... Oh, I don't want to jinx it. It's his first... Very first bit of the game. These chasing teams don't seem quite as bad, and at least you're not caught up quite as easily. So I'd missed a few boxes anyway in that bonus area, so that's fine. But I did also die 11 times. Which is just awful. Okay, not my proudest moment, not my proudest showing. I mean, it looks like we have our first boss fight against Engine. Alright, all you bloodthirsty lunatics. Put your freaky little hands together for Rocket Head. A really weird character, but I do kind of like him. Oh, so I don't know if I'm playing Engine or Rocket Head or both, or... One, two... Okay. Prepare for a beating, baby. It takes me a while to figure anything out. Bear with me. I'm a bit slow. Okay, oops. Ah, oh, it's quite forgiving on the old checkpoint there. So in the old um, games, if you had a boss fight, it's basically do it all in one or that's it. Whereas this, it's giving you checkpoints along the way. I've also not realised until now I'm on a moving platform. Like I said, I'm really not switched on, am I? I'm really wary as well I'm going to squash myself in those rift portal things. Like I did on that other level. See, it's quite sneaky. They chuck the green ones down under the red, and it's really hard to see them at times. I can literally never see the green ones under the red, so that might be my downfall. I do like they're throwing in like a lot of mechanics early, mixing them all together. Oh, this I don't like so much. For that very reason. <clears throat> As I said, my depth perception isn't all there. Now I've got myself into a really awful spot. Might as well jump off there. Yeah. 
Oh, I didn't realize there's a timer at the bottom as well for it. Okay, so once we figured out what we're doing, that didn't seem too bad, actually. Uh, so I'll be honest, some of the bosses in your games I've struggled with a bit, even though most of them are just supposed to be quite simple and repetitive. It's cool for first boss, though. I like it. I like the kind of whole arena. I like the different mechanics put into it. I think these cutscenes are fantastic. Okay, so with every accomplishment there's drama. Because why wouldn't there be? There we go, so he's opened up a new world for us. Okay, so that is our first full world done now, I think. So we've done the flashback tape. I'm a bit curious about that one we missed, um, to be honest. But all the flashback's done. We've defeated Engine for now. Don't know if he'll come back or not. And now we're into our second world. Looks like a kind of pirate ship type world. And Booty Calls awaits us, apparently. So we've got that to look forward to. What a treat. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'm very sorry. I struggled quite a lot of times. A bit embarrassing. A lot of deaths. But we'll get used to me mechanics over time. Get a bit more used to it. Hopefully get flowing a bit more. And I'm sure the second I'm comfortable with that, they'll throw some other stuff at me. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. And we'll see you again in the next part. Bye-bye.